the next breakout for Caspa is going to put us on the map. Obviously, we surpass Litecoin. Getting even closer to the top 10 will be expected to hover in market cap somewhere around Polkadot and AVAX until the next massive move up. Everybody on social media is coming up with their own theories for exactly when this next Caspa pump is going to take place. I, in fact, actually know the catalyst that not only is going to drive Caspa up on this next leg, but has been driving Caspa the entire time. And once you see it, it is so profoundly accurate. You will not even question it. In fact, as you look around the rest of social media, you'll start to realize that the Peach Fuzz Mafia and the rest of these creators, while they're amazing at YouTube, you can see right in their VIP groups, they hire out people to do the charting, which just shows lack of experience, and they don't understand the fundamental driving forces in the market. We're looking at a series of arrows on the Caspa chart right before massive upside. Each one of these arrows is an identical catalyst. They're called FOMC meetings. For the cryptocurrency market, this is similar to an earnings report in stock. For any of you guys who have day traded or are at least familiar with the art, investors wait until earning reports come out on Tesla, Apple, and then they open up huge monster options, anticipating whether it's going to break high or low. On the other side of the coin, you can wait until after the report comes out, which is the technique that we like to use for these FOMC meetings, and then play the market's reaction after. Here's the kicker. There are other FOMC meetings spaced around in between these. They happen every 45 days, and just recently, on the 12th of June, there was one, which we were anticipating in VIP was going to be the cue that set Caspa into motion. Meanwhile, once the inflation data came in, and that's what they cover in these FOMC meetings, inflation, monetary policy, and we're going to get into the details of that in a moment. The data didn't line up, and as we were waiting for the market's reaction, we could clearly see, using some very simple technical analysis, that the breakout was not going down. So nobody pulled the trigger, and we waited for the next meeting, which is happening very soon. So any of you guys that have been waiting for a good reason to join a VIP group, the FOMC meeting is happening on July 30th. We'll be using technical analysis and market fundamentals to determine whether the inflation data is enough to spearhead Caspa to the moon. By the way, this trick on putting the FOMC arrows on the chart to realize when breakouts are going to happen isn't isolated to Caspa. This works on Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, any major cryptocurrency specifically that market makers, banks are interested in investing. It might not work as directly on meme coins because a lot of that is fueled by profit taking and it has its own wave of liquidity pouring into it. But we'll get into that in another video. Looking at the history of this FOMC meeting, it all started around the 80s. Just recently, the United States had came off the gold standard as they were defaulting on a loan from France. A gentleman known as Valkner was the chairman of FOMC, and he drove the rates through the roof. This restricted economic growth in the United States. People were protesting far and wide, and it's said that Powell is trying to follow in the footsteps of Wagner, keeping rates high at the current 5% and holding them there until inflation is tamed. Thus seeing, once they start to cut back, the economic growth is going to be shockingly strong. Fast forward to the present. Four years ago, we had the lockdown. And to stimulate economic growth, they started printing dollar bills. This was warp speed monetary policy. And you'll see a lot of very popular cryptocurrency channels who are around four years ago who seem to be missing every single pick that they select this market. It's because the techniques that they were using four years ago, 
You could have blindfolded a team of monkeys and had them throw a dartboard at a chart and they would have hit a 50 to 100 X. When you're printing money, anything goes up, even vaporware. Right now, the market is completely different. It's far more restrictive and only the top quality projects like Caspa have been performing well. You guys remember the whole game five phenomenon? Creators were getting together to do live streams and group and their number one and two picks were Hello Labs and Lit Labs. Just complete rug pull. You can even see right in the vesting schedule of Lit Labs. When it originally started to take off, this first spike in price, it's paralleled directly with when the team payout is happening. You don't see any funky manipulation going on behind the scenes there. That's a textbook definition pump and dump. And once again, it's these creators with enormous audiences who really just lack the experience to be giving investment advice. We had the lockdowns, the printing of money. Now, Powell has to start racking up interest rates. And we can see that right in this chart here. He's adding 75 basis points. And every time he does this, the market starts tanking even lower. Right around when we got to May 3rd, he adds another 25 basis points. We did a general news search, as you can see in our one and only short video, and we found that on May 11th, the United States government in parallel was also cutting off all COVID relief money to huge corporations and industries on the stock market level, obviously. This basis point add-on was going to be an extremely bearish event if you even knew what you were looking at. Back scroll on huge YouTubers like Crypto Banter, Altcoin Daily. They're all going, it's altcoin season. Buy your altcoins now. Completely wrecking themselves and wrecking their audience because there was substantial further downside continuing. It wasn't until July 25th that Powell announced this is the final basis point hike. That was such good news that he was done stacking on interest rates that the market actually started rising just based on that alone. Coming up in this meeting on July 30th, there's a very good chance that Powell will hint, start building rumor or even directly say he's looking at cutting rates in September. There's a lot of people who go into an even deeper dive and specialize on these numbers and data sets, and they'll tell you that it looks like there'll be one rate cut this year in September. When Bitcoin was originally invented, there's rumors that Alan Greenspan, who was once chairman of the FOMC, had some involvement hiring computer coders like Jonathan Soplinski from Harvard University to build a project. Alan Greenspan was a huge believer that once the United States decoupled from the gold standard, it was heading downhill and he wanted to build a life raft for Americans. It was his patriotic duty. There'll be a link in the comments section below to the official FOMC schedule so you can place arrows like we just saw on all of the charts in your portfolio and you will be shocked at the correlation to price growth and the federal funds rate, making now the ideal time to hire on investment assistant by joining our VIP group. We'll look over the jobs data. We'll look over the PCE information. We'll study the inflation report that Pal gives on the podium, as well as break down the technical analysis and give references to our pattern statistic library so you can learn and back chest exactly all the call outs that we're making. Not to mention, we have over half a dozen 24-point reports. The majority of them are in artificial intelligence. On top of all of this, we have two hot lists, one for 100 million market cap and under, one for 10 million market cap and under. The 100 million market cap and under has been absolutely skyrocketing, and there are projected gains into the future with all of those picks. On YouTube, there are two types of creators. YouTubers trying to be traders and then traders trying to be YouTubers. Thanks for checking out this video, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.